Oh, yes, do give thanks and life giver and the keeper of life. Blessed love to each and every one. Welcome to the Tiger's Nest once again. Of course, we glorify him for highly. Selassie the first, Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. And we want to talk a little bit about the full moon that will be taking place on the 23rd day of July, 2021. The astrologers are saying that it will be in the constellation of Aquarius. Of course, as usual, uh, they are a bit off because it will be coming out of Sagittarius at that time. We have been crying and calling out and asking for, you know, at least an astrologer or someone that has the knowledge of the science to come and sit with us as it relates to such. But um, uh, at the moment, we haven't really gotten an answer as it relates to such. A few people have tried to explain, but as I said before, you know, we want at least someone to come and sit with us. Uh, and, and to clarify, why is it that every time the astrologers speak about the new moon and the full moon being in a constellation, it is not necessarily, or it's not at all in the constellation. But anyway, we know why, you know, because they're using um, old information. That's really what it is. And they're not aligned with the astronomical clock. And in fact, we have some information here right now that will highlight that very point that we are making. But before we go there, let me just highlight to you, remember that it is the 24th now, the 24th day of July, 2021. That's a Saturday evening. We will be having the first part lecture um, in the series, The Living Gods of Kemet. This is part one of The Living Gods of Kemet. Keep that date in mind, very important. This is an online international lecture. It will be on the YouTube, totally free lecture. And this first part, we will be dealing with Tut Ankh Aman and Akhenaten. Huh? Tut Ankh Aman and Akhenaten, that's part one. And that is the 24th day of July, Saturday, the 24th day of July. So make sure that you put on the notification bell so you won't be late or you miss it and get it the next day and all of that stuff. In fact, in fact, if you're not a subscriber to this program, I'm talking about the, the, um, uh, the, the YouTube channel, I should say. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, you definitely need to subscribe first. That's that's the only way the notification bell really works. You, know? you subscribe and then you put on the notification bell. In fact, the second part, so as I said, the first part is Tutankhamun and Akhenaten. The second part, which will be the Saturday after that, we will be highlighting Samenkare. And I'm sure you would not want to miss the heavens that will be coming with that lecture day. I'm telling you, but you see, it's 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 there's a reason why it's a series. Because part one is going to lead you into part two, and part two is going to lead you into part three, and part three will be uh, dealing with who they refer to as Ramesses or Ramesu, Ursa Ma'at Rasetep and Ra, Ramesi, um, Ramesu Mary Amon, pardon me. Um, the second specifically, because they have a lot of them, I think they go all the way up to nine, but we're talking about so called Ramesses the second, and that will be a wonderful. A third lecture, which will really complete this three part lecture series, the living gods of Kemet. So I'm looking forward to your presence as it relates to that. All right. And remember, you can definitely follow our feed on the Instagram Institute of Holistic Knowledge and uh, Facebook, our Facebook page, the Priest Isaac Institute of holistic knowledge and we tell you exactly what's going on. All right, now, so what I have here, this is basically, um, you could say a copy of the chart that most astrologers would use. And um, this may, some people may be familiar with this and if, even if you're not, I'm not gonna try to complicate you at this moment. But what I could tell you about this chart, if you understand the heavens, it is definitely not aligned with the heavens today. You will notice that the vernal equinox, which is the spring equinox, it is more aligned with the, the, uh, the Taurus, the bull, and Aries, the ram. The vernal equinox or the spring equinox is every 21st day of March. Now, the 21st day of March, the, the sun, is aligned with the, the constellation known as Pisces, not the bull nor the ram. 
Now, this would have been in a time gone by. As I said, this is the chart that most astrologers use. I'm not asking. I'm not guessing. I know that for a fact. That's why the moon is always in a different constellation. Because you must understand, we are, we are said to be coming out of the Pisces age, going into the Aquarius age, which is true. Every 2,160 years, you have a different age. The way that you judge an age, wherever the sun is on the 21st day of March, that is the age that you are in. At this moment, on the 21st day of March, the sun is still feeding off of at least 65% of, of Pisces. So we are still feeding off of 65% of the Pisces energy. While we are, are getting into the Aquarius energy, we are about 35% of the Aquarius energy. Even for us to balance off halfway, that's going to take a next 400 years. And to say that we could say that, listen, we are feeding off of more Aquarius age energy than Pisces age energy. That's the next at least 7,800 years. Now, a lot of people, you know, uh, disagree with that. No, no offense to no one, you know, but not with any strong concrete understanding of the astronomical clock, you know, but belief and astrology and the master teacher said this and that. I, listen, I'm not here to fight nobody, but we study the heavens, not just on a chart, not just on an app, but literally going out and looking at the sky with clear understanding of where the sun, the moon, and even planets are located when, where, and why. And that's just the reality of it. That is why we always highlight this because you must keep in mind it, the 23rd of July, the 23rd of July is the Emperor's Earth Day and it will be a full moon this year. So we're looking at the heavens because you know the heavens declare the glory. So with all the astrologers talking about it's going to be Aquarius moon, we got to stand up for this. Listen, even if you are not an astrologer, many of you listening to me, you are actually followers of astrology. Some of you call up Madam this and Madam whoever, no offense to no one, and want to know what Saturn is doing tonight and what Jupiter did, yes, Jupiter did yesterday and, and your little blocks of numbers and add this number and add that number and it, it equal nine and all of that kind of stuff. So what I'm saying is that I'm not uh, challenging the validity of the energy that planets have, the moon have, the sun has in relationship to constellations. I would never do that. But I am telling you now, in fact, that's may, that may not even be my lane. But my lane is to tell you that the moon on the 23rd of July will not be in Aquarius. No matter what the astrologers say, the moon will be coming out of Sagittarius. Now, again, there will be those that will be quick to jump up and defend the astrologers. You know, oh, priest, uh, you, you, you don't know that. But you do you know that? Then you're going to tell me, well, this astrologer has been studying it for some how long, but that doesn't mean they can read the heavens. They can read the medieval chart that is outdated by hundreds of years. In fact, let's read this now. This is an astrology site, astrologyking.com. Says here, full moon, July 23rd, give thanks to the earth of the king of kings, relationship irritants. So you see, that's what they're dealing with here. All right, big man smart snoring and she likes she can't sleep. All right. The Aquarius full moon on Friday the 23rd, July 2021, makes a tense Queen Conx aspect to Venus. All right, so it says here, so the spiritual meaning of the full moon July 2021 astrology relates to relationship irritants and karmic imbalance involving love and affection why is that because the moon is going to be in aquarius all right good um so so priest isaac do you have knowledge of that can can you read the, the moon depending on what constellation is it it is in can can you tell us you know what what uh what organ it, it's connected to can you tell us if war is going to rise up or peace is going to be there okay maybe i can't tell you all of that Maybe that's your power. Maybe you're correct. If the full moon is in Aquarius at this time, maybe it does relate to relationship irritants. Maybe you're correct. But I am telling you now, this is no maybe, that the moon is not in Aquarius. 
That's my point. So you may be correct about where the moon is as it relates to the energy it has and the sun, the energy it has, depending on the constellation it, it, is, it, it is in. But the constellation that you are saying it is in is not the constellation that it is in. That's my point. That's the point I've been making all this time, you know, that astrologers, at least those on the mainstream, they do not keep up with astronomy. But this website seems to have followed up on the astronomical lessons. Listen to this, hear this. Full moon, July, 2021 is in the sign of Aquarius. That's a very bold statement. The full moon, July, 2021 is in the sign of Aquarius. All right, but you see, but the star map below shows it is actually located between the constellation of Sagittarius and Capricornus. It's right here. It's right here. This is basically mm, something similar to what we show you sometime on Stellarium. And you see the ecliptic belt here. This is the ecliptic belt, which is the elliptic of the sun, the ecliptic belt. And um, also, well, the zodiac belt, as well, but the ecliptic belt is more specific. That's where the sun moves. The sun's pathway is the ecliptic belt. The zodiac belt is the pathway for all, all of them, the sun and the moon and the planets, but the planets and the moon don't necessarily stay on the, the ecliptic belt, which is the elliptic of the sun. Okay, but we've covered this again in several um, documentaries or episodes right here at least on the YouTube. So what I'm going to show you here, in fact, let us make this a bit bigger. Look at this family. Here you have the moon in between. I wonder if you put on a notification bell as yet. Make sure you put on a notification bell, you know, so when we come, you know we're here. Here you have the moon just coming out of Sagittarius. Between Sagittarius and Capricorn, as, as the editor just said, the editor was correct. This is Aquarius way over here. So Aquarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius. This is the 23rd day of July, this year, 2021. This is the full moon. All astrologers, all of them, go and look it up. Type in astrology, full moon, 2021, July. All of them, every one of them, at least that I come across, will be telling you that this is an Aquarius moon. And then some of you, no offense to you here, you're going to take the information, you're going to spread it all over the world, Facebook, Instagram. Oh, this is the moon in Aquarius, the full moon in Aquarius, this and full moon in Aquarius. It sounds pretty, but it's wrong. And if you honestly believe that the moon has energy as it relates to the constellation it is coinciding with, then you should get it straight because you're almost just spreading propaganda. Yes. When the moon is in Aquarius, I, 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 I would humble myself to accept that, yes, it does have to do with relationship irritants. Okay, but it's not in Aquarius. It's coming out of Sagittarius. What does that have to deal with? Maybe that has to deal with something else. Maybe that has to deal with relationship harmony. But because you're not studying the astronomical clock, you have it back way and misinforming. Let me show you again what the astrologer is saying here. Full moon, July 2021 is in the sign of Aquarius. Why is he saying that? Because that's the, astronom that's the astrological hip. That's what's hip in the astrological world. All the astrologers are saying that. All right. But, you see, but. As the star map below shows, it is actually located between the constellation of Sagittarius and Capricornus. So if it's between Sagittarius and Capricornus, why are you telling people that is in Aquarius? Well, you know, this discrepancy, hear what he call it, a discrepancy. This discrepancy is due to the procession of the equinoxes. And the procession of the equinoxes, we have explained that several times. In fact, you know, in fact, let me show you something here. Let me show you something before we go any further. This is our book. 
the heavens declare the glory of God. As I said earlier, you should go and check the video that we did. Uh, um, Ethiopian Queen stops Alexander the first cataract. And in that video, we give a good understanding of what the procession of the equinoxes is all about and how the heavens background as it relates to celestial latitude and longitude has to do with the movements of the sun and the moon. You should check it out. I don't want to make it sound too complicated. Or you should definitely get a copy of the book the heavens declare the glory. Uh, Rastafari and the cosmos. This is it. I'm showing it to you here in e-book e fashion. You could definitely get it straight from me. You get the PDF straight from me if you email me precise at 27 at gmail.com or you can purchase it on uh, what them fellas their name again on Amazon definitely and you could get it if you are an Amazon fan. Or as I said, you could get it from me. But the point I'm making here, why I highlight is this, is to show you that we have material and videos and documentaries that we have done several times to highlight the understanding of what is taking place in relationship to the procession of the equinoxes. Okay, so it's good to understand that even when you're listening to what they're saying here now at astrologyking.com. Good, so they're showing you that the sun is not really where they say it is. So where is it? It's about two constellations away. So why are you telling me that it is, a, it is in a constellation that it's not in? Well, it has moved the sun's signs, almost a whole sign out of alignment with the constellations from which they were named 2000 years ago. So what he's saying here, which is true, but you can't blame the sun, um, the, the procession of the equinoxes for that. The procession of the equinoxes is nature. The procession of the equinoxes can't stand up and wait for you to get your horrible scope correct and your astro misguide in line. The procession of the equinox is the natural movement of the heavens. Talking about the, the, the sun apparent movement, um, um, one degree every 72 years, moving towards the new age, which is again, 2,160 years. You're talking about a whole 30 degree move. That is why it is one degree every 72 years. When you add it up, it, you get the two, you get the 30 degree for the 2,160 years. That is the movements taking place differently than the, 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 the four minutes difference. It's actually three minutes and, and, and 59 seconds difference as it relates to the rising of the stars and the rising of the sun every single day, you know, and at the same time, the moon and its whole cycle and its, um, 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 its, its um, 28 day cycle. And all of that, when you have to consider this, this is very important. And this is what the astrological world doesn't concentrate on. And remember, astrology is dealing with a very powerful science. They're telling you how planets, sun and moon and constellation react to you and vibration and frequency and energy. And I'm saying I'm not kicking down the science, you know. I'm just telling you, if you're not doing it in alignment with astronomy, with how the heavens really moving, you are stargazing. So even when the Bible talk about stargazers, it, remember the same Bible says the heavens declare the glory. Day unto day utter its speech and night unto night show it knowledge. So no stargazing around here. We're not gazing. We know exactly what's going on. So when you tell me that we are celebrating the full moon in Aquarius, look you right here, but it's really in um, Sagittarius. You're stargazing and you're lying to the people. And I don't believe most astrologers lie. I think they just don't know because this is not their field. They don't study the heavens. Let us study the heavens, the movements of the stars, planets, and constellations with understanding and academically break it down. So they're following the old medieval tarot cards and charts like we just showed you a moment ago. That is totally off the alignment and have all of our people just following all of this funny off stuff so again i will say it one more time maybe more than one more time anyone in the astrological field i would love to have a sit down i wouldn't even consider it a challenge i just want to hear a professional even if it's not a professional professional 
to come and sit. A few people have sent me, you know, a few things. Um, and I understand how they're trying to balance it off. But it's basically the same thing I'm saying. They're using outdated material and trying to somehow bring that into this age. The heavens doesn't stop moving. We are the ones that's supposed to keep up with the heavens. The heavens can't stand up and wait for us to catch up with our horrible scope and astro. Miss Guy. Yeah, so the full moon for the King Earth Day will be coming out the Sagittarius, the Archer. And even in our book, the, the heavens declare the glory, Rastafari and the cosmos. We show you the importance of the Archer. So yes, family, as I said, this is definitely uh, outdated material here. This is not the movements of the heavens. And I want to be clear, I know some people will say, well, maybe your sky map and your this is outdated too. This ain't no sky map thing I dealing with you. Know? I only show the sky map for people that, that can't read the heavens. Sometimes I only put on the, the pictures of the cow and the man with the water. And so for people that don't know the constellations, we read the heavens. Eh? We read even in broad daylight, we can point out to you where what constellation is and planet at the same time because it's the maps we study. I don't want to sound no way, no man, but this ain't no joke. This is straight up our lane and i'm telling you i don't care who the astrologer is they have it wrong unless they can say like what this fella here just said that well you know this year's july full moon is in aquarius but shh, don't tell nobody it's really coming out the sagittarius we don't even know what we're doing but we're just having a ball yeah that's really what it is <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I do give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life, King Celestia, ja, Rastafari. So yeah, you can get the heavens declare the glory, man. You could get it from the Amazon along with the other eBooks, or you could get them straight from myself, precisec27 at gmail.com. And you know, outside of your youths, you know, you don't know how it is with the International Hope School. As you can see, our young ones are even graduating and getting their certification as far as uh, uh, the subject areas of astronomy and um, African heritage. But I really come to realize that some of uh, you big folks need this. Eh? Yeah, don't be afraid. Some of your big folks need this. The little ones, them laughing here. <laughs> Some of you big folks needs this um, international homeschool class to get a clear understanding of not just astronomy, but even our African heritage and history. But anyway, whatever the case is, this is really designed for the young ones. And they're the ones I have at heart. I have you at heart too, but trust me, the young ones at heart. So make sure you definitely invest in them. This is an investment. Trust me, this ain't nothing we selling nobody in a man. This is an investment. It pleases me when ones contact me and say, I would love to put my children on the international homeschool class because I know the value of what you're going to receive is way beyond whatever you think you have to spend. I'm being very straight about that. Our African heritage classes definitely has shown results. Parents would contact me and say, um, Brother Priest Isaac, I'm telling you, he didn't have no interest. Little children, you know, four or five, had no interest in nothing African. And from the time he started to watch your videos, he started to talk about Kwame and Kuma. He started speaking Swahili and this and that. So yeah, this ain't no joke thing. We, we are about the liberation of the mind of our people. We don't come here to play and entertain. Sorry I have to sound so sometimes, but I think some of us have this as a game. So anyway, definitely if you are serious about that, you could definitely contact us, priestisaac27 at gmail.com, priestisaac27 at gmail.com, and get your young ones enrolled in the international homeschool class, you know, and they definitely wouldn't be caught up with things like this that is way off. Anyway, and of course, the shock of the hour international radio program. In fact, the shock of the hour, we're going to be looking to step into the shock of the hour studios right now. Uh, tonight is going to be a wonderful program. Um, tonight we're going to be talking about the wicked homosexual agenda. Oh yeah, that's going to be, yeah, we, you put that on YouTube, they want to pull it down. So join us on the shock of the hour. This is a good time to get a one week free trial, man. 
have some wonderful programs for this whole strong, definitely the shock of the hour. But better yet, subscribe, man. Subscribe to the shock of the hour radio program. Comes to you each and every evening. And definitely the information is on another level. You know what to do, precise at 27 at gmail.com. Yeah, give thanks. The Emperor Earth Day coming up, the full moon. Yeah, man, Sabbath night. Wow, that's a mystic alignment that you want to lie to me and tell me it's in Aquarius. I ain't got nothing against Aquarius, but we want the truth. It's coming out of Sagittarius, and that's the story we're going to tell. Holy Manuel, I Celestia, Rastafari. Yeah, pure fire.